Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Happy Friday. Today we're gonna go ahead and install the sway bar end links for the XB. The old ones are absolutely trashed, so this is a must-do item. Now, we need to get to 700 subscribers by the end of this month. We only got a couple days left. If you have not subscribed, please consider it. Again, we're doing a giveaway at the 1,000 subscriber mark. And we are still doing quote of the week. And today's quote is, be miserable or motivate yourself. Whatever it takes, it's your choice. So with that being said, stay tuned and enjoy the video. All right, so we got the jack in place. We're gonna go ahead and jack it up and then we can go ahead and start replacing these end links. You gotta make sure we're gonna break these lugs loose. My wheels are absolutely disgusting. They need to be cleaned, I understand. But I wanna make a whole video on that. I think it's this one. Nope. Let's go up a size. Perfect. All right. And as I said, this is a 17 millimeter. So you go ahead and place this guy right here. Put the Allen key here. <clears throat> now this is gonna be a high resistance part or a high strength part. So make sure you got your leverage on it. There we go. And you may need the Allen key because sometimes this will actually spin. Get this out of here. And as you can see, super worn out. You can see it's all cracked. It's all dusty in there. It's nasty. All right. 
on to the second one. And look at that, just by touching the other one, it's, I'm already covered in grease. I think this is the best angle you're gonna get. Um, I could barely see what's going on. So I'm actually using the camera to see with all this, so. Yeah, think about this, now you're facing the other way. So to tighten it, we would go this way. We need to loosen it, we need to go this way. Let's see. There we go. Oh, that's not gonna work, it's gonna get caught. So a little bit of leverage goes a long way. Now this would be a good time to get in here with some, uh, you know, degreaser and get this stuff cleaned up. I'm not worried about it because we need to replace the CV boot anyways, and it's just going to make a mess until then, so. There we go. Same idea. So you're going to take off the bolt. Make sure the old washer is not on here. Slide that on. Then as tight as that can go by hand, the rest of it needs to be done by the wrench. This new one uh, uses a 18 millimeter bolt instead of the 17. And I do not have a 18 ratcheting wrench so we're gonna do this the old school way and that's all right and then here we go let's go ahead and take this nut off and you can see how stiff it is 
Now, here is the fun part. Let's get you guys in. There we go. And again, this only goes down like so tight by hand. Again, these are tough stuff. So take just the impact. Okay, that is stiff, no movement, cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and check it by hand. Yeah, one more. All right, that's good. And just like that, you just replace it. Reassemble. Well, that's it, guys. We got the video all taken care of. I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. I'll see you guys around next week. Stay safe and have yourself a great day.